Okay, try this again. Okay, folks, I never really told you the full story about what happened when I got harassed at the hotel. I'm about to tell you that now. Okay, we were staying at the Hamilton Hotel in Mackinac City when we went to Mackinac. And we were getting ready to leave the hotel. We were getting ready to leave the hotel, and guess what? The fire alarm goes off, so I decided to try to take a video of it, and then it stops, and then I shut my camera off, and then it went off again, so I took an air video of it, and then it stopped by the time I got to the hallway. And then, the maid told me, oh, fire alarm has been accidentally set off. So I'm like, okay, so I went back to my room, or room and then and before I got to the room, I saw the pole pole station, so I took a video of it. It was only going to be a few second video, I wasn't going to be long. And then the maid's like, what are you doing, sir? So then I'm like, yeah, I'm recording the fire alarm, I'm a fire alarm enthusiast. And she's like, we can't be recording in our building. You don't need to record It's Like, okay, so I cooperated. Because if it's private property, they can tell you not to record, right? Well, this is where they were wrong. So then I went to tell her I'm a fire alarm enthusiast again. And then she's like, well, you can't be recording our building. Matter of fact, you need to delete the footage you got on your phone now. I'm like, no, I'm not going to delete it. She's like, yeah, you better delete it now. I'm like, no, you have no right to tell me to delete it. She said, yeah, we do. We didn't want our property on your phone. I told her, I'm not doing my footage I have. She's like, you better. So then I went back to my room and then we were getting ready to leave and come back to Bay City. We were coming back here where I live now. It's just a three, four, four hour drive. As we were exiting the hotel, she's like, you better delete the footage now. I'm like, no, and I told her it's going on YouTube. She said, if you post it on YouTube, we will sue you. Delete it now. Then her boss, the maid's boss, said, you, you need to harass her staff and erase that video now. And you better not post it on YouTube or we will sue you. I'm like, delete it now. Like, no. She, then she said one more time, delete it now or we'll get the cops over here and we'll press charges on you. And then the elevator came and then we went down. Then we got out of the hotel quick and left. But yeah, for filming, I was harassed. I mean, a place has every right to tell you to record, not record because it can be private property, so they can tell you not to record, which I agree and I will comply to that, but telling you to do the footage and being rude about, no, I mean, friend of the police just because you got video of a firearm. Come on. But yeah, it was ridiculous. And they would act like that because I was filming their alarm. I had plenty of other firearms and I never had a problem until just this time. But yeah, ridiculous, right? If we go back to Merritt and we're not staying in that hotel again. Uh-uh. Because for that kind of treatment. But yeah, they told me to erase my video and I looked it up too. And they said they have no every, they don't have every right. They have no right to tell you to erase your video. So let me tell you this. They're basically violating my rights telling me to delete my video. Uh-huh, they violated my rights. That's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it, though. But I'll never stay in that hotel again. Bye.